Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Barn Finders. My name is Weasel, and I can finally play this game again. I had the weirdest bug. I could not select the upgrade gun for the life of me. Turns out there were some biggity, biggity, boogity, bug, bug. So I had a little bit back and forth with the developers, and we figured it out. So one thing we'll have to do in this episode is earn a good chunk of money so we can actually bid in the auction that's going to come up. We're having a look at Barn Hub. We see Aunt Mary's is kind of next. Are we do I need a little bit more cash to go there? That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, sir, what would you like to buy? Don't worry about the axe. I still don't understand what's going on with your head shape. If I look straight at you, everything's normal. But look from the side, you start looking really distorted. You want the radio? Oh, let's see if I can haggle you a little higher. All right, good enough. Mm-hmm, thank you. Let's build the cleaning station so we can clean items that need cleaning. Let's start with Spleen's Jr. or Grandpa Spleen's, I don't know. Sorry, sir, I can't help you out right now. I gotta wash my cat. Perfect. Oh, sorry, uh, let me help you out in a second. What do you want, the rim? Yeah. Man, can you imagine selling something to a man and then he just does a like full on dance? He flosses in front of you. Weren't you just here before? Yeah, you can also buy the tire. Stop dancing, it's so weird. If that isn't the weirdest collection of items. A taxidermied fox with a pipe in his mouth, an espresso machine, a viking helmet, microwave, whatever this monstrosity is, and a steering wheel. All right, time to clean this beauty. I still have nightmares from this. Yeah, let's get it real clean. I feel I should just douse this in alcohol and then burn it and then douse it in alcohol again. Can you imagine walking into the store and seeing this on display and thinking, yeah, I need this. I need this in my life. This is so horrifying. Okay, it looks like we have a few other items that we can put on. Right, give me that engine. I don't know if we have enough pieces yet to build the bike. And building the repair station is going to cost us $700. I think it's time for a nice upgrade. Oh, Lord. There's some really weird stuff in here. Oh, yeah, the psychedelic wallpaper. Beautiful. Oh, okay, let's see if I can haggle him a little bit higher. He's already willing to pay more than I had it actually listed for. Sweet, $137. We're doing great. Looks like we don't have any medium items in the storage anymore. Total value of items in storage, 1,800. Oh, that's not going to be enough to reach 2,500. Ah, yes, sir. Even aliens like espresso machines, I guess. I guess I'm just going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to go to Auntie Mary's. Yeah, it's a cul-de-sac. Very cool. Uncle Billy, what are you doing on the roof? You're you're about to fall. I don't, I don't like that. Oh, so good. My customer's going to bid against me. Tell your stupid uncle to calling my mama? Uncle Billy, stop calling his mother. I have to see you again. Mary would be proud. Who's Mary? Oh yeah, right. It's the house owner. So I guess this is the one that's for sale. Yeah, it looks, looks like a treat. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, perfect. You know, just needs a little bit of paint, a little bit of work here and there, a few new slabs, a lot of arson, and then it's as good as new. All right, let's see if we can do anything in this auction. Oh, at $400, that is not going to be enough for me. Oh, yeah, I already can't bid. Well, good for you. I would like to break in if that is possible. I'm sure there's a way. There's no way I wouldn't be able to make my way into this. Come on. Yeah, I guess we're going to go back to the pawn shop. Turns out we're going to have to earn a little bit more cash. Well, another day. All right, we're open for business. No, oh, you'd like to buy this? Wait, $16. No, 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 no. Only $16 for Shirley Love? That's going to be worth more. She's a collector item. Can't sell this for $16. Just my emotional damage that I took away from this is way bigger than that. Office chicken. You man the computer, okay? Oh, it's Agent Agent. Where did you leave your... Where did you leave your brother, Agent Agent? Do you have some special items? Like what? Do you see anything suspicious? Would you... Do you want to buy something or... Okay, just stand around. Oh, it's the auctioneer. You got an offer for me. You know what? You can have it. Just get out of my store. Wait, oh, you want to buy the car? Is that it? Oh, for 1200 Hey, how about we haggle about this? Didn't even realize you would be out here. Well, can I haggle with you again? Yes, I can. Sweet! 1,600. I'll take it. This is all yours. Wait, did you not did you not buy it? I thought she would have bought it. I guess it's gonna disappear tomorrow. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I'll sell it twice. You know what? Just, just take it. Get it out of my sight. I don't want it anymore. 
You keep dancing. Well, looks like we have a little bit more money now, thanks to selling the car. It's always time for a round of basketball. Sorry, sir, I can't sell you anything. I'm playing shitty basketball with what looks like to be medicine balls. God, I'm so bad at this. Ugh, 14 points. I'll take it, though. Oh, sir, are you interested in spleens? Oh, no, you want the helmet. 150. Let's see if I can get a little bit more from you for that. Oh, okay. We're nearly at 2,500. That makes me happy. What is it with these damn mini games? There's cost Customers waiting for me. Gotta beat my high score. Ugh, 14 again. I'm bad at this. All right, who wanted to buy something? Tell you what, you can have the microwave. Man, people really just need to be more excited when buying things. They just need to rock out whenever they buy something. Going to Target to buy a new video game? Once you pay, just rock out. At least do a dab or something. Can I just throw this at one of the customers? Yeah, they don't mind. Hey, buddy, you're interested in whatever this is? All right, looks like we have plenty of money. Two 1,800. I think I'm ready to go to Aunt Mary's house. Hey, chicken. What a good chicken. Can I wash the chicken? Doesn't seem like it. I got you a new coop chicken. Stay safe. And off we go. It is kind of odd that we can bid for this again. You know what? I'm just gonna let you guys hash it out. Can you imagine how annoying this is to listen to this for like two minutes straight? I can. It's really annoying. Yay! I mean, I literally can't do anything if I don't win this. Well, it's ours now. Is there gonna be like a crossover to House Flipper? Because this is kind of the house that I would like to work on in House Flipper. Oh boy. Oh, this is lovely. Let's see what we can find in here. But before we do, let's have a quick look around. This is a beautiful bathroom room with all kinds of stuff in here. This seems to be the living room. What is it with these things just wobbling around? I wonder if you came out of the wobbling trash can. Okay, so we got to make our way upstairs. Is that Aunt Mary? She looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. A lock pick. Move pins in correct order to open the lock. There you go. I can hear the toilet paper on the roof, but I don't know how to reach it. Okay, got another bedroom. Over here looks like access to the garage. I'm gonna have to lock pick this again. Ooh, what is... What is this? Valuable trap. Holy moly, if that's not. Wow, it's a full on roadster. The road toaster. Well, I'm going to say that was a lucky find. All right, let's get all the items that are in this house out of it. Looks like we got a pet carrier. Lots and lots of trash and scrap to break down. A red cyclone vacuum cleaner. A trumpet. An old newspaper. Sadly, just trash, but I imagine somebody would buy this. A snazzy looking coffee table. An old gramophone. A big cult living among pigs. A poster. This very snazzy chair. Oh, a picture of a good boy. Pretty cool dresser, or whatever you call these things. An article about Aunt Mary, a charismatic cult leader. Ooh, an old computer. The lemon white and the fitting computer mouse. And that's pretty much all the things inside the house. But there's still the yard. Oh, wait, and the roadster, of course. You don't have a key. I got an axe. I think that's good enough. Okay, let's find the key then. I thought I'd looked at everything. Must be missing something. Well, maybe the key is somewhere out in the yard. Ha, <laughs> I need a key for the yard. I'm an idiot. You know, you'd figure I could just walk in here through the the bushes, but I guess that doesn't count. Do you have the key? I guess not. One thing that really weirds me out is that there's all of this house that I can't access. There should be a room here, but there's no door. What are the secrets? I also didn't find the noisy clock yet. That must be somewhere in the yard. You know, I could also open one of those windows and go out. Wait, what is that? Usable object? Ooh, there is a secret room. We found it. Awesome. Um, excuse me? What is going on here? I mean, I'll 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 take it. How is this considered junk? This looks like a big old statue. Well, I wasn't wrong about the sound, and why is the ceiling reflective? What is going on in here? Okay, so we found this little room. That's nice. Which makes me think that there might be more places we can explore or find. So that accounts for this space over here. I wonder if there's other hidden switches that I just missed. I mean, I'm looking everywhere, but wherever it might be it is very well hidden i could just open this window i don't have a key to open this door but why can't i just use a lock pick like i did with the other doors maybe i need a better lock pick nope that didn't do it i can't help but feel i'm missing something super obvious all right tell you what we're just gonna drive back home and we're gonna come back and see if that does anything for us items minus five minus one that's still not really working and i got three out of zero collectibles sweet by the way i should mention that 
that I'm playing this version before it releases. So I'm certain that small box like these will be fixed. All right, we're gonna bring everything into our storage container and it's time for some much deserved sleep. Why would I be dreaming about Uncle Billy sleeping on a pig? I wonder if Uncle Billy is just his nickname and there's more going on between the two of us. Maybe a romance. All right, so for how much can we sell this bad boy? 1,200, I feel like that one would be worth more and we should definitely clean it, but it doesn't seem like I can do that. All right, let's sell some stuff before we go back to Aunt Mary's. All I really like those signs. You say, champion of you say, I want you sucker. And just this one saying onion. Oh, you wanna buy a toilet? You went to a pawn shop and you're like, you know what? I'm looking for a toilet. Maybe it's a designer toilet, like a collectible. You just wanna post this on Instagram, don't you? All right, enjoy this used dug up toilet for $300. Oregon kebab, ice ice baby, beer, wet, wet, wet. Hey. Bubba, you wanna buy a vacuum? Absolutely. Wow, they're really shelling out a ton of money for these. We can almost afford an assembly station or a repair station. All right, enjoy your big shelf. I like how she's giving me the cutthroat animation when she buys something successfully. I'll, I'll, I'll end your life for selling me this. How dare you? All right, we got enough money to build a repair station. Actually, we don't have enough money. I'll take it back. We need to sell one more thing. Agent, agent, you're back. You, you never buy something. You're just looking at this shelf and saying ominous things. Now we have enough. Give me that sweet, sweet repair station. Oh, you want to buy a suspension to go with your toilet? Sure. All right, what are we going to repair first? Let's go with that old colonial stove. Like so many things in life, you just got to whack them. That'll fix it right up. You're ready to be sold. All right, Looks like we're already selling out of most of our medium-sized items. Oh, hey! Ah, crap, I was too slow. She just disappeared into thin air. $620 for the stovetop, sweet. All right, that's enough sales for today. Let's repair the TV, put it up for sale. Repair the vintage gas pump, put it up for sale. Repair this big chungus chair. I also just realized that you need scraps to repair the stuff. And for this one, just on the ground because I don't have a shelf ready anymore. You know what, let's buy another shelf and let's put it for sale. I think that's all the things that need repairing. Pretty sure we have all the pieces to assemble this bike and enough money to build an assembly station. Man, we're getting stuff done. That looks about right. Let's assemble. Oh yeah. I don't know where I put to sell this on this spot. Nope, it's just a big item. It goes in the store. Come on, come on in here. Come on, come on, come on in here. Gotta get this in somehow. Why are you making my life so difficult? How's this gonna fit on a pallet? Eh, I guess for now this is fine. Okay, let's head back to Aunt Mary's. I can't believe that I didn't find the key yet. Uncle Billy is your oldest uncle. Oh, okay, so I guess he He's actually my uncle. I guess we're not gonna follow that avenue then. I have come back to unveil your secrets. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Oh, it's hanging there on the wall. This is so hard to see. Who puts keys up on the wall like that? Uh, anyway, time for the garden. Let's see what we have in here. Bunch of trash and scraps as per usual. Ooh, an old flintlock pistol. <laughs> The Xenix 9mm. Yeah, I have my doubts about that. More trash. A garden bed containing an urn called Final Fish. Did someone just bury that grandmother in here? Sure, I'll sell it. I'll sell your grandma's ashes. I'm a businessman. This looks like a really old washing machine dryer. I don't know. One of those was, was a little bit before my time. Got a little swing that I can use for God knows what reason. Oh, for that reason. Well, before I go up there, let's see what else we have. More scrap, another newspaper article. Where did she go? A mysterious disappearance of the cult leader. Wonder if she's gonna make a return. Or maybe it's her buried in the yard. There you go, up on the uh, attic. Of course there's a mannequin, there's always a mannequin. Can't have a creepy attic without a mannequin. Let's get rid of all of this junk. Housewife mannequin, ah, oh, lovely. Ah, this is the noisy clock. It's called the Insomnium Bang. I'm sure it's not gonna hurt it if I just drop it. Yeah, it's fine. Yay, we did it. And we found all the items. Would you look at that? We were thorough. So long, suckers. Come down from the roof, Billy, we're going home. That was worth it. I'm pretty certain we made our money back. Let's send the clock off to Old Bear Jackson, and then we're gonna enjoy some sleep. Well, and that was Aunt Mary's house. Looks like we got a new mission 
or new location to explore. Cooter Otis, he wants us to find a ground radar, a metal detector. Your brother stole that from you. It should be at his old ranch. Mind you get it for me? I'm too fat and lazy to drive there. Ciao. Poker night soon? Sure, sounds good. I'll take the job. What is that? Bid Wars Bull event? Miko, the company has a pleasure to invite you to our special event, the Bid Wars. Here you will be able to show off your skill and keen eye. See you there. Bring a lot of money. A lot. Your reward? Fame. Bid Wars. Okay. Well, they say we have to bring a lot of money, so we might wait on that. We're gonna go and visit Otis Ranch in the next episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bum 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 bum